Hi there, it's Vern. Uh, I'm one of the co-creators of Doom to You. Uh, and with the title of co-creator came a lot of responsibilities uh, and things to do that I've never done before on a film set. And one of those includes production design. Uh, so what had happened was we were in talks with an actual animal hospital. They said they were totally okay with us filming there and everything. Uh, but as time went on, we stopped hearing from them. Uh, we were getting closer and closer to time to shoot, and we still hadn't heard anything. We shot off a few emails, but nothing. So, uh, we decided, uh, Kevin and I, that it'd be easier to just build an animal hospital, uh, location. And so, I did that. Our third roommate, uh, that we had here in my apartment moved out, and so we had this empty space, so that's what became the animal hospital. I was really worried that, uh, what I had put together, this would not work, did not look okay. Um, and when you're in here, it really doesn't, it really doesn't sell, but I think with the blocking and everything on camera, uh, that it ended up working out. I thought in order to get a closer look at the animal hospital, I would just give you a tour of the set. So here we go. So this is the bulletin board. So for some images, I just typed in uh, something like man with dogs. For some images, I just typed in like, Poodle. There's my dad and my sister with a fish she caught. Uh, Monty Python's uh, Michael Palin and John Cleese with a dead parrot. Uh, this man with a chicken. Toto. Dorothy with Toto. Uh, Aguirre. Wrath of God. Hey, butt kiss. Oh, yeah. Daniel Stern from Home Alone. This is my girlfriend's dog. Uh, we got Napoleon and Tina. The reason I love movies and the reason I'm making movies I thought it was important to include a reference to him and the bird from Twin Peaks because I love Twin Peaks. My cameo in episode 3 is me with a uh, hamster uh, but if you look closely on the board you see that I'm also a regular patient whenever I have my pet dolphin. Uh, that's me with short hair. Yeah. One of the fun one of the fun things about making this bulletin board was was the scouring the internet for photos. Uh, however, I didn't realize that I printed out way too many photos. <laughs> And the uh, framed photo on the desk is of our protagonists from Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. Pugs are my favorite dogs. I wanted Pug so bad. Uh, so I got really lucky uh, last Christmas because my girlfriend, uh, as sweet as she is, got me a Pug calendar. Uh, so that really helped with the uh, production design of this uh, location. I thought it'd be really funny for my character in this episode, in my cameo, to have a dead animal. Uh, just because A, that's funny because I have a morbid sense of humor. And also, like, I think it's a nice visual reference to, hey, this hamster's not gonna make it, Mike and Summer aren't gonna make it, or something like that. Just hitting home that they're a bad match. But I don't have a hamster, and I don't want to get a dead hamster purely for this location. So, on this set is in the box, instead of a dead hamster, I actually have Toxie, my little Toxic uh, Crusaders action figure. I work at a pet store, so I was able to uh, get things that work that would help lend the authenticity of the set. We got these flyers for my work. The store I worked at just had a promotion uh, for guinea pig day or something. It was a big thing celebrating guinea pigs, so I had this guy. I made out these signs uh, in Photoshop. These are fun. These are, uh, I just typed in diploma on Google image search and I found uh, these guys. <laughs> uh, what's funny is two of them are for the same person. They are for Christopher Allen Paul Fulkerson. Uh, he got a cons he's got a bachelor of music and a masters in music. So this guy's a pretty talented musician. This one was fun because it's in Spanish, and upon closer inspection, it appears to be for like a school of theology. Uh, Biblico diocesanio. I don't know, I can't speak Spanish. Prior to working on Doom to You with Kevin and Forrest and all of our wonderful cast, uh, my table I used for my laptop, the thing I put my laptop and did all my business at, was this tiny rinky dink black card table. Uh, if you're familiar with my YouTube channel, it's the black card table that I smash glass mugs of root beer on and I'd like to propose a toast. That's what I do my business on. Uh, I was really happy to do this show because Bet's office would have a desk and I needed a desk. So I was able to get a desk uh, that I can use but also would lend itself to the show. So uh, I got a desk. 
I was thinking, like, I've never done production design before, and my thing I was kind of thinking was, do I just want the location to look nice, or do I want it to lend itself to what we were doing? And I went the latter route. I wanted uh, something that would feel like part of the show and not just a set. So I tried really hard with what I was doing to put in things that would reference things that would happen in the show or that were in the spirit of the show or things like that. So uh, one of the things I ended up doing was getting uh, these roses. Uh, and if you notice, there's a little post-it on the bottom that says Love Ray. As you know now, if you've seen the show, and if you haven't, what are you doing watching a behind-the-scenes video on the set? <laughs> uh, instead of watching the thing, watch the show and then figure out why all this is important. But if you notice, in the episode, Ray has not been mentioned at all up until this point. Uh, we don't know who Ray is, we don't know why Ray is important. So there's a nice little bouquet of flowers that's referencing uh, that Ray's uh, an important character coming up. So, there's that. Um, I'm patting myself on the back. That's what I'm doing with this uh, video here. So there you have it. Uh, a behind the scenes glimpse at the making of Doom Pew. Uh, a little video telling you and informing you that uh, art is a lie, nothing is real. Through some uh, production design, uh, through some sound effects, you can make one location look like a completely different location. And also, uh, I do production design now. Hire me.